Have you guys heard on social media that some people are apparently drinking Dettol to either get rid of coronavirus or something else? Um, I recently saw that today, literally, and I really needed to come at you and talk to you guys about this. I have no idea if this story is true or if it's false. I have no idea if people actually did drink Dettol uh, with this intent in mind, but either way, whether it's true or false, I needed to talk to you guys about it because it's so concerning and so dangerous. First of all, let me just say, do not drink Dettol or any other antiseptic or disinfectant. It could be potentially deadly. This is not a cure for anything, okay? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. It's good to see you. I wanted to come at you. I'm at work actually right now. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a board certified family physician. I'm an associate professor at Rowan University. I've been in practice for 12 years. And you know that I'm making videos every single day to talk about coronavirus and sort of debunking myths and telling you what we know right now because it's so important. I know this is a scary time, but let's go back, guys, to Dettol or any other antiseptic or disinfectant. Guys, once again, I want to be very clear. Whether the story is true or whether it's not true, do not consume, drink, or ingest in any sort of way any of these products or any disinfectants um, or, or anything like that, soaps, any of it. It can be potentially deadly. Uh, it's definitely dangerous. It can cause burns on the inside of your body. It can shut down organs. Um, this is definitely not what you want to do. Again, I don't know if those stories on social media are true or not, but it was important enough, true or not, for me to come to you and talk to you about really the facts about this stuff. A lot of you guys are coming to me and saying, hey, Dr. Jen, I love your videos. Uh, thanks for posting them every day. By the way, I appreciate you guys watching them and sharing them. But you say, hey, all you do is come to us telling us what we can't do, what we can't use. When are you going to tell us what we can do? Guys, I know coronavirus is scary. I know this is a new situation for all of us. I know we're all trying to get through this. What's really important, though, is that we understand that, that right now there are no FDA-approved medications to treat coronavirus. Yes, we are working on a vaccine, and yes, there may be medications in the pipeline. But right now, what we have to do and, and focus on is, is focus on doing what we know we can do. That's following our state and local regulations, social distancing, not being around other people, guys, super important. Making sure that we're washing our hands, we're disinfecting surfaces and our homes and frequently and commonly used surfaces and things like that. That, um, that we're hand sanitizing. It's really important that we focus on what we can do. Um, and that's also why I do a lot of myth busting, guys. I am very afraid. I do these videos because I'm super afraid that if we give a lot of credence to um, myths on the internet, we're not going to be paying attention to what we can do and the truths. So guys, please hang in there with me. I know this is really tough, but we're going to get through this together. No debt tall, no disinfectant, no antiseptic. Don't drink it. Don't ingest it. Don't consume it. Pass this on to your friends. Make sure you let them know. Remember, guys, I'm going to come at you every day with videos to help with coronavirus and give you information. Stay positive. Um, it's We have to, right? And we're going to get through this together. I promise. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.